This is Paul Simon and this is a story wheel and in this video I want to share how they both taught me to write cohesive lyrics. I used to struggle with finishing lyrics. It was easy to start but when I got to verse 2 or 3 it felt like I was running into a brick wall. What a loser! So if you struggle with writing a cohesive lyric or even finishing your lyrics I believe that pretty much any songwriter can put this into practice and see results. One of the problems I realised I was having was my lyrics didn't have any direction, they didn't have any purpose and that's where story structure came in and saved my ass. Because even if I wasn't writing a story song it showed me where my lyrics should go what to say next and even how to say it so let me show you how the story wheel works I've got a character that needs or wants something they set out to get it a bunch of stuff happens they end up getting what they're looking for but it doesn't go how they thought it would so they have to figure out what to do about it and then in the climax they either succeed or they fail. It's a three act structure and each of those acts has a certain function to perform to tell the story. Act 1 has to set up the story, Act 2 has to introduce the story's conflict and Act 3 has to serve the function of resolving that conflict. Here's a really simple example. I needed deodorant for a big date but I was fresh out so I ran to the store and picked some up but when I got to the store I realised I'd left my wallet on the kitchen table so I had to go back and get it I got back to my apartment and grabbed my wallet but I realised I was late for my date and this wasn't the kind of girl you want to leave waiting I tried to call her but she didn't pick up so I had to run out the door more pungent than ever Let's stop it there and this is where Paul Simon comes in because I noticed there's something in the way he uses story structure when he's writing songs. Paul Simon is a master storyteller but a lot of the times he plays around with the story structure by not closing the loop. He doesn't use a third act and this has a massive effect on the emotional weight of the song. Take Homeward Bound for example. It opens with him sitting in a railway station. This is act one, it's setting up the story. We have a character and he wants something. Oh yeah but the story circle there's three crucial parts that the story revolves around. Point three, go. This is what the story's all about. Point five, find. This is like a big revelation. And point seven, bringing it home. This is like how the story is going to resolve. So if you think about that in the terms of songwriting, what does the song revolve around? The core idea. And where does the core idea usually live? In the chorus. So we can change those three points to the chorus. Okay, so Paul Simon has a problem. He wants to go home. That problem is caused by a situation him being on the road. And the first verse of Homeward Bound is him describing that situation. I'm sitting in the railway station, got a ticket for my destination. Mm. He's describing the situation that's causing the problem. There's a cause and there's an effect. And just like in real life, that cause and effect happens on two levels. On the inner level of emotions and thoughts, which colours how we see and interact with the outer situation. Wanting to go home is the outer effect, but the inner cause is how his situation is making him feel lonely and isolated. And we see this play out in the rest of the song. And this is one of the things that we can use when we write lyrics, because it not only helps us map out the song's emotional journey, but it lets us know how we're going to write about it. So after the first chorus, we get act two. And more than anything else, this is the part of the story where you have to start facing that inner emotional cause. You have a problem that's caused by a situation and that has an effect on you. In the second verse we see this because every place and every day starts to look and feel the same. Every day is an endless stream of cigarettes and magazines. Mm. Mm. Apart from the last line in this verse, he's writing about external details, but look at how he's writing about them. Endless stream, each town looks the same. Strangers, long to be. Our inner life colours how we see and interact with our outer situation. And he's feeling lonely and isolated. But he's not telling us that he feels lonely and isolated. He's showing us what that feeling looks like. No matter what kind of songs you write, being able to paint a picture of how you feel is a much more interesting way to write. Okay, so we have a problem that's caused by a situation. And that has an effect on you. And now, you gotta figure out how to deal with it. Paul Simon's solution is, I'll pretend to be okay, but I'm not. And we see this in verse 3. Sing my songs again, I'll play the game and pretend. So he's finally talking about his emotions here, but even so, he doesn't just tell us how he feels. Again, he's shown us how he feels, but he's using more figurative language. Like playing the game, shades of mediocrity, like emptiness and harmony. He's shown us how he's decided to deal with the emotions that the problem has caused. Then on to act three. Three. Then on to three. Then on to act three. So what happens? Does he go home? 
Does he go off looking for America? Does he go to find Graceland? Maybe he gets back home to find a new pickup truck waiting for him and now we can take Jennifer on that weekend trip to the lake. We don't know because he never tells us. He doesn't close the loop and this leaves the story completely unresolved. It's coherent, it's cohesive, it makes sense, but it leaves us wanting. It's like playing a scale and not hitting that last note. Something in us just really wants to hear that last note and that's because of the tension caused by the note before it. That note only causes tension because the way the notes in the scale are organized. And this basically works the same way. It gives us a strong framework to build the emotional intensity as the song develops. But you can't just rely on structure to bring out all the feels in your lyric. It's the way you express your ideas within that structure that will create something unique. And if you want to know how to do that, watch this video next. Because these two methods work together like beans on toast and it's going to give you the power to fart out lyrics like a legend.